All right, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we're in it for another, uh, another Outer Wilds. This is episode four. So last time we just got into the loop, um, this uh, time loop where we die because of a supernova. I'm just gonna kind of jump right into what I gotta do because we're on a time crunch so what happens just to kind of uh summarize where we were last time so we are just on the cusp of the death of the universe or at least the solar system there is a our sun is um is due for becoming a supernova uh if we could okay so i'm in space right there's the sun now you see how it has that nice orange color pretty soon that'll be red and then we'll all be dead so what i need to do is figure out what is actually going on um i don't know who to talk to about that but I know that there are some people that we haven't seen for a minute. We have some astronauts on various planets. And... No, I don't need that. What I need is to find Dark Bramble. Okay, that's... Um... It's Giant's Deep. Is that Dark Bramble? I think it is. Yep. Okay, so... The one person I know nobody's seen in a long time is um, Feldspar. So he was one of the original astronauts of our, uh, our planet, uh, Timber Hearth. So nobody's seen him in a long time except for the fact that what we know he plays harmonica uh whenever i forgot who found it but somewhere on um timber hearth there was a uh yeah somewhere on timber hearth there was a seed that uh fell out of the sky took root in the ground and right now I am trying to figure out okay hold on hold on hold on okay let's go let's go down just a bit nope right there okay we're just gonna carefully move forward So here's what just happened. Dark Bramble is apparently bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. We're uh, we're in TARDIS territory, boys. That's that's what we're dealing with. So now I have to be very very careful not to crash into anything. That's the way that I've got to go. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Okay, there's some stuff in space that I don't like. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Go down, go down, go down. Okay. Hmm. 
That's why he's chilling out on Timber Hearth. He's not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take note of that. Uh, Dark Ramble. Angler. Fish. <gasps> Will kill you. I feel like he takes some notes on the ship, but um, I I can't quite remember. Uh, I can't quite remember how detailed those notes are. Okay, rumor mode. Dark bramble inside the sea. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So navigating Dark Bramble is gonna be um it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. One thing I didn't do last time was get get into my suit. It's one thing I definitely didn't do. Um, okay, Dark Bramble, where are you? We're going to give this one more shot, but... Oh, 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 yeah, that... That's not what I want. That's Brittle Hollow. You know what? What is that, the Addle Rock? Tell you what, I know that, um... Yep, that's where I want to go. So yeah, I know that the, uh... I know that Dark Bramble is going to be a problem at this point. That ain't happening. That ain't it. All right. So if we can't get Dark Bramble, maybe we can make some progress on understanding what the Nomai knew. Um, let's roll. Oh. Yeah. Wait, no. Um, hold on. Did not know you could do this. This is going to make landings a whole lot easier. All right. We're out of here. Get out. Hatch. Okay. Oh. Do I not need a suit? Let me take this off. Yeah, he's just chilling. Ask her. What do you got for me? Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. No time. Long time. No see. I guess it's actually been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't other travelers come by? Yeah, I know it was you whistling. Um, what is this place? <laughs> ah, very funny. Oh, stars above, you serious, aren't you? Well, that's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started with outer, when we first started Outer Wilds. Travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. 
Nowadays, though, it mostly just keeps me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't go. I mean, is there anything you wanted to ask? Don't other travelers come by. The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Turk comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Hmm, seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with, high, with ground control. Hornfells and Gosan mostly, and they and they radio up to chat now and then. And when the ground control forgets I'm up here, and usually they do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you. <laughs> I should have went for the other prompt. You spy on us? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. That's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Let alone in our village. It's about to get real quiet everywhere. Um, okay, so you don't have any information on the... Uh, the Nomai. And that's what I needed. Hmm, they've probably been alone on the moon for too long, yeah. Some calibrating some sort of device on the outer rock. Okay. Uh, before I go, let me kind of see. Maybe he has something up here. Whoa. Wait. How's the gravity? Strong. Or, I should say not. Not at all. <laughs> weak. Very weak. The gravity is not a factor. Okay. I should probably go get my suit. I guess. It shouldn't make a difference because if the atmosphere allows me to breathe without the suit, then sure. Shouldn't have anything to worry about. Alright, let's find these ruins. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, there we go. How's the sun looking? It was looking um, mighty orange a second ago. You know what? I'll take it. Okay. Mm. No. How do I take out the, uh... that I want the um the translator oh yeah I forgot you can totally just check out the map from here at any time and you can see how the sun's doing okay um flashlight uh yeah those are that's my scout launcher Okay. Let's 
scout launcher, signal scope, flashlight. an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of the Dark Ramble. Okay. I posit the Adel Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, there may be more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system, question mark. I read that all wrong. I had to add the question mark to make it make sense. Um, refuel jetpack, sure. hitting crunch time. Um, these are pieces of ice, but not at all what I'm looking for. Okay. Turn the suit. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right there. That's where I want to go. Hold on. What do, I, what do I have to do to roll? L1. Oh yeah, yeah. So somehow on that part of the planet you can breathe just fine, but with, yeah, weird. All right. Clearly did not like that. So what's going on here? A puzzle. Wouldn't you know it. Signal scope is not what I want. Hmm. I need something different. Oh, it can just be equipped. Okay, got it. No, back down. All right. Ah, uh, sun's turning hot.
you would think that would be translatable text. Maybe not. Okay, what are we looking at here? I guess I should explore all of it. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. Okay, cool. Coleus. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. What is that? Is that the dial? Are those the, the dials that were up there? I was upstairs testing the sig eye signal locator and it can hear and follow signals from the sun, giants deep, and brittle hollow. Mm. What is this? However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Felix, I see most likely a collaborated, most likely collaborated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, will make it, uh, ugh. Privet and I will make adjustments and try again. This is a curious result. Okay, this is Thatch. I don't know who these people are, by the way. You know as much as I do. I'm just trying to say them out loud so that I remember when they come up later. Anyway, um, this is a curious result. It's possible that the eye has stopped calling out its signal. What is the eye? Testing the eye signal locator. What is the eye? Okay. Well, can I put this over here then, maybe? Where should I put this new, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It needs to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern, glacier, uh, the southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow. This is Plume. The Southern Glacier, glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Okay. Felix, yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always, they have pronouns, he, he, not they, interesting. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. What is the crash? Coleus. Anana and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Oh, there's more. I will begin construction on Brittle's South Pole immediately then. And there's a symbol that kind of looks like the thing that I see whenever I die. Oh, there's more over here. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit that this, my friend, to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we ever want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Okay, now I understand a little bit more about the eye. I still don't know what the heck that means. 
thatch, then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava. 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 Huh? Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Okay, now we know why they're here. But we don't know what the eye is. Curious, man. I am I'm I'm digging the mystery. Um I think especially since the sun might be about to blow. Yeah. Um we're gonna we're gonna cut it here, I believe. Well, we haven't heard the music yet, so yeah, I'll cut it here. Um, till next time, catch y'all later.